language. Now in our top story tonight, Kenyan's domestic market is robust with a population of 44.6 million people that has a strong culture of meat consumption according to a report by Kenya Market Trust 2014. On average, beef, chicken, mutton, goat and camel account for more than 80% of meat consumed in the price of beef, grew rather at the slowest pace in years now in 2016 and crossed the 400 shillings mark for the first time. The crave for meat especially by urban dwellers invites demand that has attracted careless traders who will sell anything that is meaty. Here is Faith Anula with more. Meat consumption is not a new thing, as it is known to be the main delicacy for many across the world. To an extent, some even forget the importance of using vegetables, known for their major health benefits. We took the better part of the day to find out various methods of meat preservation and how to know the best meat for human consumption. Here we meet up with Christophe Nzoka, the manager at Kamuingi Butchery in Ruiru town, who narrates to us how to determine good meat for consumption. That to inspect used to be let as a customer to see where we keep our meat every other place that we keep our meat. That's your right. According to Christopher, fresh meat takes a duration of two days before going bad, narrating that after two days, the meat is sold as a dog food. We make sure that uh, we sell our meat a maximum of two days. If there will be an excess of... Uh, Meat which remains in two days, we don't sell to customers. Mm -hmm. We sell to those people who have dogs. We, do, we sell it in dog meat. Yes. Adding that the butcher owners should follow the right ways of preserving meat instead of using illegal methods of preservation. Uh, meat will go bad after that six hours. Six hours. That is six hours. So it's not safe to feed on meat which is not uh, which is uh, over six that are six hours and there are no seen measures of uh, preserving it like a cure of fridge in as a two to three days some are maximum of four however the customer says they prefer to buy fresh meat instead of the one that has stayed for a long period of time adding that cleanness is something they go for before buying the meat uh, our quest for answers led us to a slaughterhouse in Donyo, in Dagoreti constituency, where Simon Kinyanjui insists on how imperative it is for consumers to ensure the meat is thumbed before buying it. These are some of the things that you need to take care of when you are purchasing your meat. First, as you can see on our carcass here, it has a stamp. You must always look for that stamp in any carcass you want to buy. You must look for the general nature of health. For example, this is a very healthy cow. That's why you can see it has some fat cover, and the fat cover is uniform. Some of the people who have been affected by eating infected meat also had this to say. Mimi nili affectiwa na nyama, nilikula nyama mbaya on my way to the village. And the signs that I had, nilikuwa na rashes kwa mwili, nilitapika. So, neza kuambia wa Kenya wenzangu, wakienda kubai nyama wa buy from a butcher that is licensed na hiyo nyama ni fresh cause wanasema nyama poa ina two days according to research the side effects associated with meat consumption include stomach ache kidney and lung failure nausea dizziness headache fever among many others good meat is meat that is authorized to be sold it must be inspected by a veterinary officer past fit for human consumption, bear the stamp. It is therefore important for one to know the proper ways of preserving meat before purchasing in large scale in order to ensure hygiene and health standards are of the highest order. Faith Anula, KUTV News.